Hi foxes and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. I am also known as Shop Fox Bro on sites like Poshmark and Etsy and over on Instagram and Clubhouse and here on YouTube. So today I am doing the second of my weekly what sold videos. So I started doing this new series where every week I show you what sold on the different platforms that I'm selling on. So we are going to be tackling Etsy, eBay, and Poshmark today and I will let you know what sold. So if you like what's old videos, make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because I'll be doing one every single week and then stay tuned. So just like last week, we are going to be starting with Etsy. I am going to be using my phone to look at, so I'm sorry if that bothers you. My kids are upstairs stomping around playing, so we're just doing this. All right, so on January 21st, so these sales are January 18th to the 24th. So I did not have any sales on Etsy for the, oh Lord. Oh, did I also mention this video is going to be unedited except for me putting things in? Okay, so January 21st, I sold this Black Rabbit Circular Enamel Necklace and it sold pretty quickly after listing, I think a day or two. Um, and I sold this for $27.99 plus shipping and a sales tax. And that went to a US buyer. And next up, I sold this one pretty quickly too. I listed this um, Donald Brooks for Maiden Form Nightgown. It was from my recent estate purchase. And um, I sold it for $37.99 because it had some flaws on the back. It had some color bleed from being washed with something else. And then it had some like fading under the arm. So that sold for $37.99 plus shipping and that sold to a US buyer as well. Next up was a bit of a funny situation. I had somebody message me on Etsy and they were interested in this skirt, which I had had for a very long time and been listed on Poshmark and Etsy for quite a while. And um, they said that they were local and asked if they could do a pickup since they were headed my direction. And so we switched it to free shipping on Etsy and they checked out through Etsy and I left it on my porch and they just stopped by and picked it up and it was a very easy $34. Um, no tax because we are in New Hampshire and obviously sold to someone here in the US. Next was January 23rd, and I sold this bright, bright orange coat. This was also from my recent estate purchase. It was a mohair coat, and it sold for $104.99, plus shipping and sales tax to someone here in the United States. It actually sold to someone in Tucson, Arizona, which is hilarious to me because um i went to arizona in october and it's, it was like 98 degrees so i don't know how cold it gets there but i guess they just really like this coat so i was very happy to sell that that was probably like the highlight of the week for me in terms of sales um all right so that was it for Etsy last week. Now we are going to go to eBay. This always takes me a minute to figure out how to get to my solds on eBay. Let's see, sold. Okay, sold on, okay. January 18th, okay, so 
I sold this, um, if you watched my last video, there I have a bunch of like music catalogs that came out of um, a local music store here. This one sold for $15 plus shipping in the United States. Um, next up was another one. Um, I was kind of sad that this was the last one that I had because it's two people got into a, visit, a bidding war on this one. Um, so it started out at $15 and ended up at $58.90, uh, which is awesome. And I wanted to send a second chance offer to the person who had bid the second uh, highest amount of money. Uh, but I didn't have any more. So this one, $58.90. And then, let's see, that one went in the United States as well, in the buyer paid shipping. This one is an international sale. This one, two people got into a bit of a bidding war with this one. It was $22.03, and then the buyer paid shipping through the global shipping program. you're just going to notice a lot of weird sales on Etsy. I have not been selling really any clothes on Etsy except for that one lingerie piece last week. Um, I've just mostly been selling like hard goods. This is our baby monitor that we had. It was an infant optics um, wireless digital baby monitor and um, it actually sold to someone the next town over for $75 and then they paid shipping. Next was this set of wooden blocks and I had actually picked this up at the Goodwill outlet and I thought it was so adorable. They had constellations all over them and I was going to gift them to someone maybe like at a baby shower but when coronavirus hit, like I haven't been to a baby shower in like three years now. So I was like, I just want these out of my house. Um, and so I listed them for I think 25 and somebody sent me an offer for 20. They paid shipping. I accepted that. That was a US transaction as well. Next, I sold two things for my husband, which um, don't really count towards like my total, but I put them in here in case you come across them. That way you will know that they're worth money. The first one was a DiMarzio bass guitar like bridge. So that is the part that holds the strings on the body of the guitar. And that sold for, um, I had this on auction for $99. It ended up selling for $104.01. So not really a bidding war on that one. Sold here in the US and they did pay shipping. The next one though, which I guess my husband said was completely normal that this went for higher. These were the same brand DiMarzio um, pickups and they were um, vintage. So the pickups are, I guess, what picks up the sound from the strings and then transmits it through the body of the bass to come out in your amplifier. And this I started at, I think, $69 for auction. And then it got into a major bidding war, it sold for $154.50. So my husband was very happy to have an extra $250 to put towards um, another musical instrument that he wants. This freaking truck I have had, well, forever since we moved into this house it my husband's grandmother collected like some antiques and like some some like vintage toys and stuff like that and I've managed to sell a lot of them but this truck has been haunting me uh, when I had a booth at an antique shop I had it there I've had it listed on eBay for literally like two years and just no one will buy it so I finally re-photographed it and then put it back on eBay and still no one would buy it. So I just sent it out to auction for $9.99. It was a mid-century um, metal um, pressed steel truck and I was just like, I just want this out of my life. And so I put it up for $99 and just, or $9.99. And despite the fact that I have sent offers for $50 on this thing before, it's over $56, so 
I ship that off and I'm so glad that it is gone. So glad. The next one is another one that I've had listed forever on eBay, like over a year. This is a collection of downbeat jazz um, magazines from the 19 from 1952, and I had it listed for I think like a hundred or two hundred dollars, just based on like what other people were selling them at. And I don't know, no one wanted it. So just like the truck, I sent it out to auction for $9.99 and they got bid up to $12.50. And I was just like, you know, whatever. Like, I don't care. I don't want them anymore. Take them. So someone bought those. And then the last sale was for this week. So I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> Yeah, so a good week of sales on eBay, um, $250 of it was my husband's, uh, but still I did make some money on our old baby monitor and those booklets and just some other stuff I had laying around, so that was great. All right, next up is Poshmark. Poshmark has been slow, slow, slow. All right my sales that being said first thing i sold was this talbot's black wool skirt i got this at an estate sale paid around a dollar two dollars for it it sold for 25 dollars no shipping discount and five star feedback on that this space rocket pillow was from my son's um, nursery and we just it's just it's not a practical pillow so I just didn't want any more so it sold for $12 and I got $9 um, I was happy about that this Cabela's woven embossed tooled leather belt sold for full asking price of $16 and I got $12.80 Another full price sale, this vintage, um, about a size 2X umbrella print rayon top, sold for $45 after all Poshmark's fees and stuff, I got $36. Hmm, next up was a hat, this was photographed in my holiday collection. Um, another full priced purchase here, someone bought it for $26 and I got $20.80. Next up was this mod cloth dress. I believe I got this from a thread up. Um, it sold for $38, which I believe was the full asking price. So I got $30.40. Let's see if I put in here what I paid for that one from ThreadUp. Six dollars. Oh, but I had Goodwill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So I paid six dollars for that one. So I made twenty-four-ish. It was pretty good for me. This came from my Stitch Fix palette. This is a pair of driftwood jeans. I think I had these listed at seventy-eight. Someone came in and offered me a fifty. Uh, because I paid about five fifty per piece for my palette, um, I made somewhere around $35 on these in profit. Next up was this skirt. This was a vintage crochet maxi skirt. I had purchased this for myself and it didn't end up fitting the way that I wanted it to. Um, so someone came in and bought it full price, $40.00. And let's see how much I paid for that if I wrote that down. Pretty sure I bought this on Poshmark. Yeah, $19 shipped um, was what I paid for it. So um, I made 10 bucks on it, which I mean, I'll take it. Next up was this hat. Um, I paid $8 for this hat. It was new with tags. The only reason I paid $8 was because I wanted it for, um, to work into my holiday collection. And someone came in and bought it for $20. And so I ended up with $16. And then after my $8, um, 
I made eight dollars so I wouldn't recommend like picking up berets and stuff unless you can get them for like two three dollars or less but I happened to want that one for my holiday collection so I was glad to sell it the next one this is on January 24th so end of the week this was three children's items um, a fox print button-up shirt a Mr. Rogers shirt and a Where the Wild Things Are shirt and I sent them an offer for $20 and um, so I got 16 these were all things out of my kids closet and I was happy to see them go this beret <laughs> I've had sitting around since I think it was like last November so over a year now someone sent me an offer for $10 and I happily took it Pretty sure I got this at the bins, um, so I made $7 on that. And that is it for sales this week. So um, I did have a couple of sales that saved me. Um, I didn't, I was listing pretty much every day this week. And um, yeah, it's just a really slow time of year. A lot of people aren't really sure what's going on. It was the inaugural week um, for President Biden. And so just a lot of uncertainty out there in the world. And I think that that definitely had an effect on sales. Collectibles, maybe less so, but as for clothing, really just not a lot. For having um, 700 items in my Poshmark closet and something like 340 over on my Etsy, um, yeah, just not a lot of traction on the clothing side of things. So that is why I think branching out into hard goods and um, just like things from my house really, really has been um, a great thing for me this year. I, I'm literally just selling um, things from around my house that I want to get rid of and uh, sometimes that is a decent portion of my sales so that has been really nice and I am decluttering at the same time which is great. Okay so I hope that you will give me a thumbs up for this video and um, that the uneditedness doesn't bother you too much but uh, I have to save time. I am doing two videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 p.m. Eastern and then I put out this video on Monday mornings. Um, so yeah it's a lot and I just have to make some sacrifices somewhere and editing this video is one of those sacrifices. So I hope that you still enjoyed watching and it was still informative and I'll see you next time.